Good morning. Welcome to MagnaWave Office Hours. We're a little late this morning because we actually began the program posting to our certified private certified practitioner page and uh, we realized that so we stopped that program and came over here to the corporate page. So welcome to MagnaWave Office Hours for this Tuesday morning and uh, we're excited to be here with you and uh, we're going to talk about several things today. I'll answer your questions if you have them. Post your questions to the Facebook page here or you'll be able to call 502 599 and ask your question uh, on the phone so we can talk about it live. What I want to do today is we're going to talk about a conference that I attended this past weekend in uh, Dearborn, Michigan. It was called Crushing Cancer, and there were many uh, leading people talking about alternative methods of treatment for people that have cancer and other debilitating diseases, and it was just an eye-opening experience for me, uh, and we were invited to be there as the as the the only uh, person talking about a therapy device or a therapy situation, and it was PEMF, magnawaving PEMF, for the oxygenation and how that helps with debil debilitating diseases. So we're going to talk about that in just a couple of minutes, but also want to share with you, uh, last week we were featured on the local NBC affiliate Wave 3 here in Louisville. They're having a series on dealing with the opioid crisis in America and how people need to deal with pain relief in other ways, and they, and they came to us and interviewed us and talked about how uh, MagnaWave could be used to relieve pain and help people in an opioid type of uh, crisis situation. So I want to play that story for you now and then we'll get back to the rest of the information. Here we go. Well, we're going back out live to our drug take back shortly. First though, a deeper look at chronic pain. And how some doctors and therapists are turning to alternative treatments to help people get relief. Wave 3 News reporter Myra Ansari has more. One look, and it's easy to be captivated by horses. Pat Ziemer has spent his life around them. We started with racehorses. Horses may make this look easy, but sometimes that speed comes with aches and pains. Ziemer found a way of making that better. When I got this device in 2007, I was the crazy guy walking around the racetrack. I went to the rider and let me, let me treat your back and they liked how their back felt and they let me treat their horses. And so I'd treat a horse, they'd get on it and they'd ride off and they'd come back and say, my gosh, this horse hadn't performed this well in six months. So how does that happen? Well, Ziemer uses technology called MagnaWave. MagnaWave is pulsed electromagnetic field therapy. MagnaWave can be used on animals and people. It's a high voltage, low frequency wave, which actually penetrates the cellular membrane and make, making the cell more capable of taking on oxygen that's available to it. Ziemer says if you can improve oxygenation of your cells, you can reduce inflammation, which relieves pain. By placing this coil around the problem area, a turn of the knob, you hear the clicking and then notice how you can see the muscle moving. Jeff Arnsberger's story may sound familiar to many. Been through all of the treatments, we did the injections, we did the, the medications, the physical therapy, and none of that was making sense. He tried MagnaWave after having hip replacement surgery. He didn't want to be on pain medication. It got me off of the pain medication within three or four days. And uh, so between the nerve pain and what I was feeling from the pain medication, it, it, it did a wonderful job. Physicians like Dr. Conrad Kievsky from the Pain Institute are also looking at options because of the gravity of the opioid epidemic. I don't want to get people addicted. Dr. Kievsky says there are cases that warrant opioids, but he says it's not a first line of treatment. He also recommends looking to alternatives to pain medication. Some of it can include injections into the painful area. There's also you know, things like radio frequency. One of the new exciting things is CBD oil also, so, which is a natural extract out of a hemp plant, and that helps a lot of people with pain. Narcotics work by masking pain. They don't treat the cause of it. And when it comes to chronic pain, it's not a one-size-fits-all. You have to try different things to reduce the number of prescriptions, addictions, and overdose deaths. My Sari, Wave 3 News. Hey, I'm back. I hope you enjoyed that story. It was an incredible uh, story. They did a good job putting it together, and we certainly uh, <laughs> enjoyed doing it. It was a lot of fun, and it's always good to uh, help get the word out as to what MagnaWave and how it can be beneficial for pain relief and health 
health and wellness. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. We want to make that uh, available to our practitioners so they can use it as well. And uh, if you have any questions about that, please post your uh, questions here in the box. Good morning to Terry, Greta, Idlauer, uh Jason Bills with us this morning. Let's see who else. Shelley, uh, Shelley's with us. Thank you. Uh, Jagoda is with us this morning. So uh, hello, folks. Uh, thanks for being with us. If you have any questions, post them there. Or you can call 502-599-9722. This may be a, a day where that's uh, beneficial uh, to call because I'm going to be talking about a conference that I attended this last week uh, in Dearborn, Michigan. It was called Crushing Cancer. Got my phone ringing over here. I need to make it so it goes away. Uh, so we don't hear it. There you go. Uh, crushing cancer in Dearborn. Uh, it was attended by, uh, there were some natural, uh, as this gentleman was described, was a natural pharmacist. In other words, he's a compounding pharmacist. He is a pharmacist and he can make and do anything that he needs to be made, but he specializes in natural ingredient uh, type of uh, things that he puts together for use in, in health and wellness. The people were there from The Truth About Cancer. Uh, Charlene and Ty Bollinger were there and they made a presentation uh, on The Truth About Cancer and The Truth About Vaccines, which was, which was very interesting. Uh, Marcy uh, and Dr. Tony Jimenez were there from Hope for Cancer. Uh, and look these up online if you'd like, hopeforcancer.com. Uh, and they were talking about their clinics in uh, in Tijuana and Cancun, and I got my eyes open as to what they're doing in those clinics and how, why people are going there uh, to do things uh, instead of having, and maybe instead of staying in the United States or whatever. But I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus. I'm just describing to you uh, what took place this weekend uh, at the at the conference. What was what was really um, opening to me, eye-opening to me, uh, when these people began to speak and present their information is that it was really health and wellness, emotional wellness, nutritional wellness, uh, supplemental things that you could do, therapies like MagnaWave, uh, silver therapy, different uh, uh, nutrients that you can take to help your body fight uh, cancer and other debilitating things that take place in our body and uh, how all this can, can work together. And, and I, what was really focused was the spiritual position, the emotional position of people, the, and, and the, the physical, physical wellness. And you know, they say that, that oxidative stress was a huge uh, topic in the, in the conference and how oxidative stress puts you in a position to where you become disease, where disease begins to take over your body because of your mental stress, your, your internal oxidative stress, and, and what can be done uh, to, re, to relieve that and help that out. And I, I, it was just amazing. Uh, to listen to the pharmacist, for example, the vitamin C that you can take, whether it's given intravenously or, or given in an oral form and how important vitamin C is to to uh, fighting these types of conditions. The vitamin D, people don't get enough sun. They don't get out and, and so can. How important is this to the overall uh, nutrition of the body? And, and we talked, there was a veterinarian there uh, uh, Marion uh, Siegler uh, was there talking about how she uses the same natural things in her practice in Texas because cancer in animals today, cancer in dogs, is, is more rampant than it's ever been. And Dr. Marty Goldstein goes back and talks about it's all about the vaccinations that we give our dogs, uh, what the amounts that are required, how often it's required, and all of a sudden we have dogs that are having cancer that 20 years ago didn't have as much cancer. We lost our last uh, pup to cancer and, and uh, cancerous type situations, and so they talk about that. One thing that's interesting there when you talk about uh, injections for veterinary, for example. My little four-pound dog, when it gets a rabies injection, gets the same amount of rabies uh, vaccine as a uh, uh, Great Dane. 
So it, and, and that's amazing that you'd have that same amount in a four pound dog compared to a 120 pound dog or whatever, whatever it may be. So you hear these types of things and it's just very uh, dis, uh, interesting. And, and it was interesting uh, with, with Marianne in that she can talk about this a lot more openly as a veterinarian than what other people can do. And she can exercise and work with some of these various therapies uh, in the U.S. because it's veterinary and it doesn't have, have all of the same uh, restrictions and requirements as the human side uh, of the situation. So uh, if you want to have talk to me, call 502-599-9722 or post your question uh, in the in the uh, chat box here. Good morning, Jan. Uh, Stacy's with us. Karen's with us. Greta's with us. So good morning, folks. Thanks for thanks for being here. Um, the the other thing that was was very interesting, and like I said, what they were were talking about. Dr. Tony Jimenez uh, from Hope for Cancer uh, gave a very interesting conversation. I've been to many shows or many uh, exhibitions in the last few years, and Dr. Tony has been there. I've never been in a position to really hear him talk. Now they have. Have, I believe six or seven of our devices in their clinics that they use as part of their overall protocol in their cancer clinics for oxygenation and improved blood flow, improved white blood cell formation and that type of thing. And so he spoke about this extensively in his in his talk. But what he what he really got to was, a, and, I, and I always thought to myself, well, why would Dr. Tony have our devices in his clinics? Uh, use them, be at these events and talk about them and we're there ex exhibiting, if you will, uh, selling machines to doctors and individuals and that is there not a, a competition there. But when I heard him speak and everyone else speak, it wasn't really about uh, competition at all. It's about putting people in a state of health and wellness and emotional wellness and spiritual wellness that they take care of themselves to avoid these situations from occurring at all. And if you can do that, uh, you're in a good state, but we all know that there's a lot of things on the outside, a lot of environmental issues. We can't control our stress all the time because of work, because of family, because of all of these things. So we can allow a lot of stress to come into our lives, even though we try to control it a lot, and we can all of a sudden find ourselves in the state of disease and uh, whatever that disease may be. And so their whole logic became: let's stay well, let's stay, let's put up a wall to keep us from getting into a disease state. If you do, then here are some things you can do to fight it naturally, to fight it uh, uh, without doing a lot of other stuff, chemotherapy, or in association to whatever chemotherapy or things that, that you're doing. Now, certainly there there was some, uh, it presented as some type of, uh, I don't want to say conflict, but obviously a difference of idea between traditional medicine and, and a more alternative type of situation with natural paths and people who, who practice this kind of stuff. But it all came down, again, I don't want to be redundant, but it came down to a wellness uh, type of situation. And then Dr. Tony was talking about uh, why, why Tijuana? You know, people, uh, they call it, oh gosh, now I'm going to have to struggle to think about what they call it. They call it medical tourism to where people go to other countries to receive treatment for whatever the situation may be. And, and a lot of it is fueled by people who don't have or haven't had the insurance that they need or they can't get the treatment that they want uh, soon enough. A lot of folks from Canada, because they're so scheduled on their uh, type of medicine that they have, that they'll leave Canada or they'll go somewhere, go to another country to get dental work to get knee replacements or hip replacements number one if they don't have the insurance it's much cheaper in some cases to get it done outside of the country get the procedure performed elsewhere or whatever now and, and so that's why a lot of people get into the medical tourism uh, type of situation you know if you don't uh, one of the things if you don't have insurance in the United States and you have no other options because it's very expensive uh, in the US to have this stuff done or uh, just because it is and so your only option is to maybe uh, go out of the country and get it done elsewhere but the way Dr. Tony <laughs> approaches it through hope for for cancer is in other countries I mean for example you go to Europe and magnetic therapy PEMF therapy like MagnaWave is an accepted form of treatment. 
Not that it's not in the U.S., but in other countries, it's it's the equivalent of FDA approved. It's called CE uh, approval, uh, CE endorsement in Canada and Europe and Australia and South America. These companies that use the CE as their basis for what they allow, and and our type of therapy is recognized around the world as a. In fact, we have devices that are CE approved uh, in Europe and Health Canada approved in Canada for human use. In the United States, it's a different thing, and as you know, we're in the process of, of attaining FDA approval for our digital devices so that they can be used more readily uh, and can be used for insurance purposes in the United States. But so what what they do at Hope for Cancer is they're using some some internationally accepted methods of treatment and devices and so forth that are not yet approved in the United States. And that was a question that was asked of Dr. Tony. He's got a, they have a device, for example, that can be used to scan the blood of a person or the body of a person uh, through this particular device and can show very, if there are just the presence of, of cancer stem cells in the body. And, and so they, it, and just one or two can show, which means as a, as a, uh, as a potential to check something out before it's there. You know, we can do that. We can get tests for our heart to make sure that they're, everything's okay. Well, the same thing can happen there, but the device is not yet approved in the United States. And he was asked that question. When's it coming to the United States? And he said, when it's approved, when the manufacturers can get it through the FDA process, and that can take a long time. And, you know, they're doing things. Uh, President Trump is doing some stuff, that, and, or the government's doing some stuff. I'm not trying to get political to where some, uh, and it's not menace political, but where some devices, some medications can be fast-tracked that are used around the world and can be fast-tracked to be used in the United States. Uh, before they or during the FDA process and the whole thing. And that, but if, if that's not the case, your only option is to go elsewhere. And so people are going to Hope for Cancer in Tijuana to, to have some of this diagnostic, uh, some of these diagnostic tests performed. And, it, and, and Hope for Cancer is a full-fledged uh, facility, everything from treatment to, to surgery, uh, if necessary, to remove tumors and that type of thing. And they had several stories about people who were, were treated uh, with various things and how they handled it handled it in there. And, and he did mention in his saying, he said, we are, we are not a big chemotherapy radiation type of facility, but when it's necessary, we will use it in low levels and, and we will use it only as much as necessary and not put it in a position, as we know, uh, chemotherapy itself can be uh, detrimental to life and, and radiation. And so uh, they approach it in a, in a different position than what it is currently approached potentially in the United States. But it was an eye-opening um, an eye-opening experience to go and listen to what they what they had to say. One thing that was shared with me, uh, or not with me, but one thing that was shared at the conference is they were talking about vaccines. You know, there's a whole debate about what we do with vaccines in the United States, and that's not where I'm going here. I'm just putting this out as to something that was discussed and something that was incredibly eye-opening to me, and, and that is that the that the vaccines that we administer in the U.S. and of course as you know many countries administer vaccines to children and infants two or three years into their life not at birth and so there's you know different and different countries do different things and they have different results potentially than other countries but uh, the thing that, again that was eye-opening to me was that in the United States this the Center for Disease Control controls the vaccines and if I want to make a drug or have a device that I want to bring to the public, it's FDA controlled. And so we have vaccines that we use regularly that are not or have not been FDA cleared for efficacy and safety and that type of stuff. They're administered by or led by the Center for Disease Control and, and they decide what the vaccine will be. So it's a total, and I didn't know that. I just assume, and I'm not saying that's right, wrong, or indifferent, or that the vaccines are not right or good. I'm just saying that was an eye opener for me as in terms of how it's applied. They talked about uh, death rates uh, of people who receive medications and so forth, and it was just 
it, it was it was an incredible experience. Again, if you have any questions, uh, post them please in the uh, on the page here, and I'll a- I'll ask as, I'll answer them as best I can with regard to the information that I learned. Uh, and um, also, um, it, it was it was very interesting to me uh, talking about how devices are used from the standpoint of of FDA and. Uh, so forth. So any questions? If you want to give me a call, it's 502-599-9722 and I'd be happy to uh, discuss any of this with you or discuss your question um, that that you may have. Um, One of the things that I'm intending to do and we're going to roll this out and I'll tell you that it's coming is that we will soon, within I'm I, within the next week, we're ready, it's all done, it's all approved by Google and we're going to be working with um, um, Alexa and and Microsoft as well um, in the, the Apple Siri, but we're going to have a series on Alexa flash briefings uh, where we will be talking about a daily flash flash briefing about PEMF magnet waving PEMF and various aspects of it. We'll be covering a, these. Flash briefings will cover history. The flash briefings will cover uh, how it is used uh, in various ways. It will cover the the physiological aspect of PEMF. So you'll be able to go to Alexa and say, Alexa, give me my MagnaWave flash briefing, and you'll get 60 seconds of information that can give you learning and education about PEMF. I've also decided that I want I'm going to start a flash briefing dealing with crushing cancer or crushing disease and how people are using these in association with the magna waving type of PEMF. Uh, various supplements and what they're doing and how they're doing it. Uh, there was a gentleman there talking about essential oils and in fact he has a course on using essential oils. He doesn't sell essential oils but he has a whole uh, curriculum on essential oils and how you can use them individually or as a business, that that whole type of thing. Uh, and so uh, Eric was, Dr. Eric was there and we're going to be doing a webinar uh, talking about that and learning more about essential oils and how you can use them and again that it's very uh, with us that uh, the, the MagnaWave helps the absorption of oils. It helps everything going on. So we're going to approach this uh, with a flash briefing on wellness, alternative wellness thoughts and, and sharing uh, around uh, the world and around the United States. Those are two things that are coming uh, within the next few weeks that will begin on a daily basis that you'll be able to to Go to Alexa and say, Alexa, give me my flash briefing and uh, get some great, valuable uh, information uh, for your use. You'll be able to do that on your phone. You'll be able to do it in, uh, if you have a car that has an Alexa feature or certainly on your Alexa uh, dot. As a matter of fact, we're going to we're going to do some things to, for practitioners where they where they can have a dot and and get some training in that regard or get their they'll be able to ask questions and get the answer right back to them immediately uh, in an Alexa type or an uh, 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 AI, artificial intelligence environment uh, without having to type and do a lot of that kind of stuff. And so we're really excited about that. Hey, Debbie's watching. Hi, Didi. How are you doing? Uh, Stephanie's with us. Uh, so if you have questions, folks, uh, just uh, put them in there. And again, we'd be happy to uh, to answer them for you. Uh, at this time, so I, I've given some good. I've given some information. I'm trying to think whatever what else we discussed at the conference. I mean, the the the, the pharmacist was incredible, talking about the supplementation that you can take to put into your body. There was a gentleman there making a presentation. Uh, he has a silver product, much like our HydroWave uh, silver. Uh, super oxygenated silver water, which I'll kind of talk about that and what they were talking about so much there is the the silver will will pass into the bloodstream and will serve as an antibiotic uh, type of type of thing and where our hydro wave is different than from straight nano set nano sized particles of colloidal silver or whatever is that our our product and I'm not selling I'm just telling where our product works. And they kept one of the things they kept talking about with regard to cancer is oxygenation. You need good blood oxygenation in your body. Cancer hates oxygen. Oxygen will kill cancer stem cells. And so you, you need you need to do that. 
And so uh, what this, what our water does as a supplementation type of thing to this situation is they, we take this water, we put sil- nano-sized particles of sil- silver, so they're not considered heavy metal, so they won't leach to the body, and run it through a process to where the, the oxygen in the water binds to the silver molecule transfers when you drink it, transfers into your bloodstream. So now we've got these little nano-sized grenades, if you will, traveling through the in a in a negative charge, traveling through the body when it comes up to other negative uh, things that it's attractive to, then it will explode basically, kill that bacteria, not harm anything that is of a good charge, and and then come back together and move through the bloodstream until it's passed out of the body uh, through the urinary process. And that, so we take, we consume this HydroWave, uh, six ounces, 12 ounces a day, and four, we, we, the standard dilution is four ounces of HydroWave to a gallon of distilled water consumed in two six ounce glasses a day. Uh, morning and night to keep enough in your system always as a variable to attack. And so this gentleman was there talking about silver. Uh, uh, Robert Scott Bell, you may look him up on the internet, has a radio program every Sunday, uh, also has this silver product that he was talking about. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, we know, we've seen, there's reports on our website talking about silver and how it's used for disease, uh, with whatever type of disease that is in the body uh, fighting this bacteria that gets into the body and uh, was intriguing to, and we have it available. And we have it that, that I consume it every day, as you know. I had my uh, scare with prostate a couple of years ago, and I used uh, uh, the, our silver. I used MagnaWave every day. I used uh, ozone, uh, and they talked about ozone, how it can be used, again, to b- improve the oxygen supplementation to the body. And, and, and really, that's what it was. The, the biggest basis of the thing was get stuff in your body that these disease areas don't like and, and, and can approach. Uh, another interesting thing that was shared uh, at the at, in the meeting, uh, Dr. Tony was talking about some of the other doctors that were talking, is that the body has um, um, stem cells. Uh, I, I'm going to call them. And I forget the exact termina- terminology that they use, but we have healthy stem cells, and then we have cancerous stem cells. And and quite often, when when it's beginning to build, is that we'll take the the normal cells are kind of clumping up and and protecting the cancer cells the cancer stem cells and and so we give we use chemotherapy to and radiation to get to kill what's surrounding the cancer stem cells to get the body in a situation that they can do something else then to kill the cancer stem cells and radiation and chemotherapy they've said I I'm, I'm not a doctor so I can't say that I totally understand won't kill the cancer stem cells. You have to then approach it with something else, normal good body oxygen, improved white, white blood cell counts, and all this kind of stuff so the body can better work and take care of itself. Uh, so again, it was just incredible to, to hear this type of information and how they're approaching it. But again, the whole situation was, let's take care of your wellness, spiritual, emotional, physical, natural wellness in your body to put you in a position to, to heal, to put you in a position to maybe not take on these various diseases. The question was asked, uh, and you know, it's not a blatant thing. We all know there's been a lot of people that have get cancer in the United States or suffer from cancer in the United States who, who uh, survive well and, and become long-term survivors with the various um, um, things that they're treated with. And, and the answer to that in many cases was, well, yes, a lot of people have a stronger constitution than someone else. Uh, and and a, a comment was made about uh, Hugh Hefner. Here's Hugh Hefner lived to be very old and partied and drank and smoked his, his entire life. He had a constitution that could deal with that. What he did may have killed some <laughs> somebody else in a normal type of situation. But that you know when you talk about that, it's very important to have our best inner strengths. And so diet was a big question that was addressed at this conference. And and it, I really came away seeing how much what we do with magna waving PE 
EMF, uh, how it's beneficial to the blood oxygenation of the body, the blood flow of the body, working with and 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 working with the other elements of the body. And and it's true. We've said this a lot in in treatments. If you're not going to have the best diet, if you're not going to work to be healthy, then what we're going to do is going to help, but it's not going to reverse. We have to it has to work together with many different components coming together. Uh, to help your health and wellness. Let's see. Um, uh, Karen talks about so exciting to be helpful to be able to ask questions, ask Alexa questions, and get answers. We're really excited about that. That's still in the final stages of development, but we're going to start with the flash briefings first and then get into the actual skills and question and answer uh, type of situation. Everything's going there. Yes, we love to use our phones and we love to do this, but it's going to go to where it's going to go to voice. You want to ask a question, you want to have it done. Searching is so happening so much today with voice. Uh, I, when I search Google on my phone, I'm not the best thumb typist in the world. I'll hit that little microphone and say, uh, where is this? And it'll come up. And so it, it or what about this? Uh, what about a Jeep Wrangler, for example, uh, that's on my mind today, and which is something else I'm going to talk about here in a second that's, that's coming to us. But uh, at any rate, uh, voice is where it's at, and we want to bring that to you to be able to get you the education you want, to get you the understanding that, that you're looking for as, pra as practitioners or as potential customers, people to use this, this health and wellness uh, product in your life to, to be healthier. So I don't see, let me make sure there's not any questions on here that I'm, that I'm seeing. I don't see any specific questions, uh, which is fine. Uh, I've been talking a lot, and, uh, and I want to get so much deeper into this. And so I'm going to be having uh, a webinar. I'm going to be having a webinar with Dr. Tony Jimenez from Hope for Cancer, talking about what they do, how they do it, why they do it, what, what you can do in addition to what they're doing as far as your disease control and health and wellness. We're going to talk with Ty and Charlene uh, Bollinger about their whole aspect of vaccines and just from an educational purpose and how to bring that that in. Uh, and then we're going to talk with the natural pharmacist. Uh, he'll, we'll have a webinar with him. I've got most of these on the schedule or scheduling this week at, at this point. Uh, we'll be talking with Stephanie, the lady who has a clinic, a health and wellness clinic in Dearborn, and what she does and how she employs these various uh, tactics in her clinic. We'll be talking with uh, Dr. Eric from the essential oils uh, position uh, and uh, uh, Robert Scott Bell talking about what he does and what he pushes and, and how the importance of silver in, in health and wellness and the supplementation of the body. So uh, we're going to have webinars on all this stuff that will certainly be available to you. We will put them into the podcast. Uh, in the, the podcast that we're uh, beginning to do, uh, so that information is there. I've kind of taken on the the thought that that the, the deal is education, the deal is sharing. It, it, I feel that if we can share this information to help you and help our customers, then everybody will be happier, everybody will be healthy, everybody will be able to live uh, and, and have their business and, and be prosperous from that type of position. Um, so that's kind of where we're going um, with that. Keep your eye out uh, the, for the, uh, we're going to be going to some various cities uh, here shortly. Uh, I'm calling it, today I'm calling it the uh, the MagnaWave Express, but we're going to go to a city and be available for demonstrations, be available for clinics uh, at veterinary offices or farms to put on a clinic for the local areas and uh, to do that, and we're excited about being able to do that. I think our first uh, venture will be in Kansas City. Uh, I'll be at the Cleveland Chiropractic Co uh, College on September 15th addressing the doctors and the students at the college about PEMF and about how it works with chiropractic and how it can be implemented into their practice from a student level and, and a doctor level. I'll be there with Dr. Nelson Vatanzi uh, from Denver. Uh, uh, and he will be uh, speaking to these folks and addressing them 
uh, as well. So we're excited about that, but that'll put us in the area and maybe we can have one, uh, one, a kickoff on our uh, MagnaWave Express, if you will, to uh, do something in that area. So if you're in the Kansas City area and you'd like to know more, uh, stay tuned to the MagnaWave page and uh, we'll let you know about what's going on there. Uh, come to the MagnaWave website, put your information in because we'll be doing emails to that area that we're going to be there uh, uh, educating and showing people um, about um, come to New Hampshire. We're going to. We're going to come up to uh, New Hampshire and the uh, north uh, east coast area of the United States and, and get up uh, and do the same thing uh, in that area. Nashville is certainly on the list uh, to go, so we're, we're excited about that. Uh, certainly during the winter months, uh, as we go out, we'd like to be, because we're going to be doing some outside stuff, we want to be in the, in the uh, in the warmer type of client to do that so people are comfortable. In the summer months, we'll come back around and hit the uh, northern part of the United States. So that's coming, uh, and uh, we're excited about that. And um, sometimes it'll be me, sometimes it'll be Elaine, sometimes it'll be other folks, uh, Aaron or other folks in our organization, maybe several of us together uh, working to do there. Um, she lists cancer under contraindications for PEMF treatment. Terry Studer asked the question. The reason that is there, and and so in the United States, the that's a great question, that, that the machine is listed as a contraindication, and I'll tell you the whole the whole story. Um, when the machines were when PEMF was first brought in a major scale to the United States from Greece, um, the the gentleman that brought it in, a doctor in Greece, brought a device in, brought it into the country illegally brought it in as a, G, uh, a seed germinator, which it is. Uh, it will germinate seeds very well and help them grow more rapidly and healthier. Uh, and went to the West Coast and began treating cancer. And the FDA went to him and said, you didn't bring this machine. How'd you bring this machine in? Well, da -da 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 -da, it's not hard to check. And they said, well, you can't do that. And you can't be uh, treating cancer because you're not FDA approved in the United States to do that. And and so we're not professing that to happen and, and that type of thing. But because of that, because it is not FDA approved uh, for the treatment of cancer does not mean that it's not used in other countries as a PEMF, as an oxygenation tool. So we certainly don't want to say something. We do not say we do not want to contradict your doctor. You want to work with your doctor and, and have a doctor that you believe in and do what they tell you to do. And there are doctors today in the U.S. that are moving towards using uh, PMF therapy as part of their therapy. We have people that are being treated for various disease that their doctors are saying, yes, between this treatment, do this. Between that treatment, do this. And, and so various things are happening. But as a rule, we do not say that you do this and you won't have that problem. We can't do that as a, as a company. We have no intention of doing that as a company. So it's what your, it's what your doctors produce and it's what you learn and do uh, as a natural supplementation however you may choose to use it. We also talk in our in uh, in our literature about implanted medical devices and implanted uh, rods and screws and because we want people to exercise care when they're treating in those kinds of areas and and so to see to work with their doctors work with their veterinarians and work with their people to understand how to implement we don't want to create literature and say did 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 and people go out and say well it says that I can do this or it doesn't say that I can do that and that's how it that's how it develops so we take a position of caution we take a position of information and that's why Terry it's listed in that in in that fashion. Any further questions, please uh, let us know and be happy to uh, 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 regard. Let's see, we have a question. Do we have a protocol regarding timing of treatment for chemo and radiation? Uh, we don't have a protocol as such, but we do know that we do not recommend if a doctor agrees with the treatment to help body oxygenation that you treat during a chemo session uh, or a chemo uh, treatment cycle or a radiation treatment cycle. Doctors have agreed to allow people to do it between uh, chemo treatments. Uh, and one of the reasons for that is chemo makes people quite often sick. The, the, the poison or the, the, the 
chemo that they're putting in can make people sick because it's killing a lot of stuff and trying to get at the cancer, so on and so forth. We know all, all know under, understand that story. We don't want to do anything to increase the metabolization of that and have it make someone sicker. So that's why we don't we rec we don't recommend doing it during chemo. Go to other countries and see what's and and what how they use it. It sometimes it's different, and and they approach it differently. Here in our current situation, we recommend doing it between chemo sessions or after the chemo sessions are complete, and then you can come in and improve, help improve the improve the oxygenation in the body's ability to work to strengthen and heal itself. Good questions, Terry. I appreciate to asking the question. Any other questions, folks? Just put them up there, and we'll be be happy to answer them. Uh, Got to run here in a minute because we have another meeting at 10 o'clock. I hope you found this beneficial. Uh, we certainly, we always recommend that if you have a disease or you have things that you're working with, that you work closely with your physician. Talk to them and, and uh, make sure you, they understand and you understand what you're doing in your treatment regimens. If you are a person and you're working to, to and you don't have a disease but you want to stay healthy, then certainly there are various supplementations that are available to you. You can use this to feel better, to improve your overall well-being, to help Help your body be better oxygenated and work better to stay healthy. That's one of the aspects that, that we're dealing with uh, with this type of natural therapy uh, that, we're, that we're providing. So, uh, any other questions, I'd be happy to answer them. But we're about out of time, and I it's, it's, uh, appreciate your being with us this morning. So, uh, come join me next week. If you have questions, you can email me at uh, patzemer at magnawavepemf at any time. I'd be ha more than happy to answer your questions next week or answer them personally to you. Uh, and if uh, we look forward to having you visit us uh, next Tuesday morning. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye.